Hey guys, good evening, good evening. Hello, good evening guys, Are you hear me? Good evening teacher. Hello, hello, you hear me guys, yes? Good evening, I can hear you. Ah, okay, Very perfect, perfect, good evening. Um. Okay, uh, let's see, we are seven, seven people in the meeting. Good evening, Melissa, uh, Wendy, Luis, Eduardo, Ivan. And let's see who else. And Carla is joining. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, good evening guys. Jorge is connecting in this moment. Okay. Perfect. No issues with the microphone. Nice. Pretty good. Hello, Julio. Good evening. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening, guys. Okay, every day closer to finish your model, close to finish. We have only three classes and you will be free, free as a bird. Okay, perfect. Today is a Tuesday, Tuesday 5th, September, 2023. Okay. Guys, um, we have just a couple, a couple of uh, topics to study. We are going to begin with this topic tonight. And, and let me see, I'm gonna share the screen, my computer screen, you see it? No yet. Okay, I am opening the presentation. You see it? Yes. Yes, yes teacher. You can see the screen. Okay, guys, pretty good. Great. Okay, this is a class number 14. Welcome, everyone. Hope you had a wonderful day. Let's see. Uh, today's topic is going to be about noun phrases this is a topic that you can use uh, in daily conversations with someone let's see julio can you read this example about the noun phrases uh, what would you miss doing in in the in this part mention an activity that you you miss doing Okay, pretty good. An activity that you would miss doing. That is like, probably I would miss, I would miss doing, I don't know, an activity, maybe watching movies. I would miss watching movies, for example. Okay, uh, let's see, Carla, the example is, I miss running. Okay. What is uh, the apostrophe in letter D? That is the word would. that it would. That means a uh, possibility, right? I didn't miss running. The next one is, next example. I miss going to Paris. Okay, pretty good. I miss going to Paris. And this uh, other example is, guys, oh, it is the same one, it's repeated. Okay, this one. I miss reading books. Aha, uh -huh, okay. And? I miss playing football. I miss playing football. Okay, you have some activities that you can use in, when you say, I would miss going shopping on Saturdays, for example. Let's see. These noun phrases, we have two options to make these uh, phrases. The option number one is noun phrases as Subject. As, as the subject. Okay. The example says, uh, can you read it, please, uh, Romeo? The indication and the example. 
Now, let's say the same, but using noun phrases as a subject. As a subject, but it says, let's say the same. What is what is the same? You can say this, these mini sentences, you can say them using noun phrases as subjects. Okay, good. Uh, let's see, Jorge, can you read what is the rule that you have to use? Subject plus relative clause plus verb to be plus object. The object, correct. There are one, two, three, four, four parts that you need to use. Okay, in the example, the example says, one, one thing that it really miss is my free time. Okay, check. One thing that, one thing that I'd really I'd. miss is I would. It is the same from the mini sentences. It is the same, okay? That I really miss is my free time. Okay, what is the subject? The subject is always. But one thing. One thing, correct. The relative clause. It is a word that you use when you say that. That I really miss. That is the relative clause. The verb to be? Is. Is, and the object of the sentence? My free time. My free time. Because free time, if you see, it is singular. It is singular. Okay. The next example, the second example is one thing. Uh huh. That I, that I really miss is my mom's supper. Is my mom's, my mom's support. Mom's support. Correct. Your mom's support is, is only one, is singular. That's why. Uh, let's see the chat. Someone is saying, hello, good night. I'm driving home. Okay. Okay, just listening. That's fine. Don't worry. Okay, guys, if you check, my free time is singular. And my mom's support is singular too. Okay. What about if I ask you, uh, Julio, what is uh, one thing that you would miss doing? One, one, one thing that I, that I miss, I really miss is uh, uh, go, going, go to the, to the beach. Okay, all right, pretty good. But let's check. One more time, going to the gym, mm -hmm. to the beach, sorry, going to the beach. To the mm, okay, let's see. In, in, my free, in my free time or during the weekends. Ah, okay, going to the beach on the weekends. On the weekends. Yeah, on the weekends, it would be the object of your sentence. Because if you check, Free time, what is free time? That is a noun, okay? But it's always in singular because at the beginning you use the subject. One, one thing, okay? Singular, singular, singular. Carla, what, what, is, what is one thing that you can tell me that you would miss doing? One thing that I really miss is sleep eight hours every day. Ah, okay, good sentence, all right. Uh, Carla has one thing that she would, that she would, what is next? Uh-huh. I really miss 
uh -huh. okay in my case i say in the case of you that carla that carla would really miss is sleep eight hours every day is asleep sleeping would be sleeping it, same as uh, same as julius sentence it is pretty similar because he said going right and you say sleeping but if you check the object should be always singular free time your mom support uh what else what else example free time mom support and we can have a lot of nouns but in your case you are using ing verbs but that is fine it is an object as well okay Let's see, uh, Romeo, what is one thing that you'd miss, you'd really miss doing? One thing that you'd miss doing. Romeo? Uh, or Sofia? Follow the example, check. Um, one thing that I really miss is my violin. Ah, your violin. Okay. Okay, your violin. That's fine. Because violin is the object in your yeah. in sentence. Ah, one thing that I really miss is my violin. Correct. Violin is not a verb. So you don't use ing in any part. That's yeah. it. Uh -huh, that's it. Pretty good. Okay. Uh, Sophia, and you? One thing that you would uh, really miss if you didn't have it anymore? Uh, we don't hear you. I see that you have active your microphone, but we don't hear you. Check it out. Mm, now? Now, yes. Yeah. That's it. Okay. One thing that I really miss is talking to my grandmother because she's died. Ah, okay. I'm really, I'm really sorry to hear that. Okay. Because she is, she has passed away. You can say passed away instead of dying. Uh -huh. Dying is Okay. She, she passed away. Passed away. Correct. Okay. Pretty good. Uh, let's see one sentence, Ivan. What about you? One thing that you would uh, really miss. One thing uh, that I really miss is playing basketball on weekend. Okay, pretty good. It's fine. Playing basketball on the weekend. Playing, why playing? Because you are using a verb. Okay. okay. Yeah, but it's fine. It's fine. Okay, very good. You got it. Next, uh, hey, we have a third one. Let's see number three, sentence number three. Can you read it? One thing. That I really miss is my running time. Is my? Running time. My running time. Check, running is not ing verb. Mm -hmm. This is the object. You can use ing verbs or objects, for example, these ones. One thing that I really miss is my, is my friends, my friends, a good company, for example. There is not a verb at, at the end, okay? Good. What is the indication, uh, guys, in this part? Make a sentence. Make a sentence using noun phrases as a subject. According. According with the next picture. With the next picture. Okay. What do we have in the first picture? You have to analyze the picture so you can have an idea about what to say. 
as as a noun phrase as an object okay ideas mm. ideas ideas maybe eduardo melissa or luis eduardo can give an example it is similar to this you have to begin with one thing, et cetera, et cetera. Okay, guys, example. Check. Uh, one thing that I really enjoy. Is... Enjoy. Enjoy. Okay, but we are using the verb. Miss. Miss, correct. We are using ah, miss. Okay. One thing, and it, but teacher, uh, we can change that verb, or or is is only for that example? Mm, one thing that okay, in this case is miss because imagine if you didn't do this activity anymore, you would miss doing it. That is the point. So miss is the verb that you have to use in this type of sentences. Okay. okay, one thing that I really miss is going to the cinema with my family. Really miss? Okay. Is, okay, but going, it is correct. Going to the cinema, to the cinema with, okay, with my friends, you said. My my friends or my family, yes. Or family, okay. Okay, now guys, give uh, the same example, but not using any verb in ING. Mm -hmm. For example, like this, free time, mom support, etc. Not verbs in ING, but the sentence is correct. Uh huh. Ideas uh, for the number one, picture number one, but no verb in ING. Uh, B teacher, one thing that I, I, I really miss is share time, a uh, free time with my family. Okay, one thing that I, I really miss is sharing, but sharing is a verb with ING. Okay. okay. Yes. The purpose is the sentence is correct, but if you check, we can use other objects free time, sure. uh, mom support, for me, uh, my running uh, time. Mm -hmm. Teacher, one example could be one thing that I really miss are my afternoon at cinema with my family. Ah, okay, yes. Is my afternoon afternoon at the cinema with my family? Correct. What is the object? What is the object in the sentence? You see it? My afternoon. Correct. My afternoon at the cinema with my family. Okay. Both sentences are correct, but number one is with a verb ing, and this one is with no verb ing. But both are objects. They are correct. Okay, pretty good. Let's check. Second picture. Uh, help me help me with the second picture. Ana Ivania, maybe. Check. What's going on in this part, Ivania? Okay. okay. I, uh, one thing uh, uh -huh. that uh, I really miss is a uh, make a party with my friends. Okay, one thing that I really miss. Is, is make a parties 
making making parties parties with my friends with my friends okay pretty good with my friends okay it is correct now guys no ing verb mm -hmm. similar example from the first one similar okay. to this one uh, okay teacher okay. Uh, yes. for example one thing that that really means is use the office for parties for for example uh -huh. Use. Remember that use is a verb. So you would say use it. Is mm -hmm. the is after office after office uh, with my co-workers. Is after office with my co-workers. Uh, okay, guys, is this sentence correct or no? Correct or not correct? One thing that uh, I really miss is after office. Uh, I think after office parties. No. Parties. Uh, okay, you are close to be correct. But you can say one thing that I didn't really miss is a great time. Uh, a great time after office meeting, for example. No party. <laughs> you can say meeting. <laughs> but you know that after office is like a party. Okay. It's okay. not a formal meeting. But check. Is a great time. This is the object. A okay. great time after office meeting. Okay? Yes. Now it is correct. You see the difference between okay. verbs, ing, and this type of objects. Both are correct. <laughs> okay. Pretty good. Now let's check uh, picture number three. What's going on in this picture? Okay. One thing hmm? that I really miss. You can say with ing verb. Mm -hmm. It's a sunny, a sunny day at the beach. At the beach with my friends. Okay, very good. One thing that you really miss is a sunny day. At the beach. Ah, this is the opposite. At the beach with my friends. Okay, very good. What is the object? A sunny day. Pretty good. Now, uh, with an ING verb, with an ING verb, can you mention an example? Me, teacher. I will okay. Go right ahead. One thing that I really missed is bronzing my skin in the beach with my friends. Browsing, browsing. Oh, bronzear. Ah, okay. Bronzear, bronzear is sun, sun, sun tan. Sun tan. Let me remember this verb because. I have the idea, Sontan. Let me check. Whenever you have doubts, you can use the tools. Sontan. Mm -hmm. Sontan. Ah, it's together. Sontan. Pleasant, pleasantly brown your skin caused by being in hot sun. Ah, it's together. Okay. Yes, sun tanned. Uh huh. Completed. Mm, my skin. I don't know. Is correct. Yeah, it is correct. Is okay. sun tan, but sun tan. If you see, it is like the infinitive. It is in the base form. We need to say it as an ing, like the others, making. The other is going, etc. So in this one, 
you have to say the verb ing is son ten in my skin my skin the... at the beach at the beach with, okay. with my friends all afternoon etc 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 okay you can mention any type of complement in your sentence but check son ten in. okay pretty good nice nice okay the sentences are great, pretty good. Now, make us, this is similar, make a sentence using noun phrases as subject. Okay, like these ones. Let me see, can you make one a Catherine? Catherine Lisbeth? Picture one, the guy in the bike. Hello, hello, Francisco, Antonio maybe? Jorge. Me teacher. Okay, go ahead, go ahead. Well, one thing that I really, I, I really miss is uh, riding a bicycle and on the road. Okay. One thing that I really miss is, is riding a bicycle. Ah, okay, you say with IAG riding. riding, riding a bicycle, my bike on on the streets, on the yeah, on the streets. Okay, that's pretty okay. good. All okay. right, the sentence is correct. All right, riding now with no ing verb, similar sentence, but no ing verb. Teacher, mm -hmm. um, yes, on thing that I really miss is uh, every day ride on bike. Ride, uh, okay, ride on, ride my bike would be my bike. Okay, let's check. Let's check this one. Is uh, every day, right? You are have you have to use the article to make it singular. But it's correct. One thing that I really miss is a everyday ride on my bike. On. Okay, it is correct. Yes, you only missed the article to make it singular. Because every day ride is like one day Monday, the next day Tuesday, the next day Wednesday, et cetera, et cetera. Okay, but the sentence is correct. All right, next picture. What about this one? This one, this one. Make a sentence, please, with, with a similar example. Yes, yes, there is part. Okay, go ahead. One thing that I really miss is playing video games. All day. All day. <laughs> all day long. Okay, all day long. Okay, it is correct, playing video games. Now, no ING verb. Uh, Julio, uh, an example. I have Julio, Ivan. Uh, one thing that I really miss is uh, the, the video games. Is the, my favorite. Uh -huh. It's my favorite video games. Ah, but when you say I really miss is, is singular. My, uh, my favorite. Video game. Game, correct. Because it's singular. All right. Is this correct, guys? Is that correct? If I say this, 
No. No, right? Why? Why not? The subject is singular. Yes, the subject is singular. So, in English, you have to respect that part in the grammar. Singular, singular, okay, but to be singular. And the object, in this case, should be singular. That's it. Because the subject is singular. The verb to be and the object. Okay, pretty good. That is the reason why. Okay, what about this picture number three? Can you make a couple of sentences? Uh huh. Ideas? One thing that I really miss is walking at the street with my yellow high heels. Okay, very good. He's walking with my high heels. With my yellow, you said, right? Yes. Yellow, to be very specific. Yellow, high heels on the street. Okay, pretty good. Now, no verb, to, no verb with ing. Mm -hmm. Okay, one example, please, with no ing verb. No ing. Ideas, ideas, ideas. The thing is that you have substitute this part with, with a noun. That's why the topic says, the topic is noun phrases because you are using nouns. In these ones, my afternoon at the cinema, a great time after office meeting, those are nouns, okay? So, ideas with, with a noun, this one as a noun? I think uh, I have a one. Okay, say it, one. we can say it. Well, <laughs> one thing that I really miss, is to see a beautiful world of a woman. Or okay, to see a beautiful, beautiful, a beautiful woman. Okay, uh, let's check it out. Guys, is it correct or not correct? Well, you said yeah. well, a woman? El caminado de una porque vemos un ahí que sea sí. two legs walking. Okay. Let's see yeah. a beautiful walk of a woman. Okay. Check this part. One thing that I really miss is to see is not correct because if you are going to use a verb. It should be ing. Okay, but this is a gerund, and the topic is about noun phrases. So, this is not the most appropriate uh, sentence. Teacher, I have order. Okay. Mm -hmm. One thing that I really miss. Is my yellow high heels. Okay, is my yellow, yellow high heels. Okay, let's check it out. Is this second sentence correct or not correct? Yes, it's correct. 
Correct. Okay. One thing is singular. The verb Teacher, to be appears in singular, correct? Uh -huh. We can use, for example, uh, one thing that I really miss is the way to walk uh, a woman with high heels, for example. Uh, okay. One thing that I really miss is the way, okay, in this one, high heels is plural. Check, it's plural. But with the other sentence, one thing that I really miss is the way. Can you repeat it? Uh, is the way to walk, says la, um, Okay, you can say no, the actually, way, no, no, no. how? That no how sense. <laughs> uh, okay, but I'm helping you out with this part. Check. Can you read it? Yes. One thing that I really miss is the way how my girlfriend's walk. How my walks. girlfriend walks with? With high heels, okay. With the hair, correct. High heels. What's going on in this sentence? Hey, teacher, but you are using high heels again. Yes, but the point is that the noun is. What is the noun? The way. The way, the way. that how she walks. This is the noun. And now is correct. All right. Okay, I gave you some help, but no problem. You have the idea how to make the sentence. All right, pretty good. Okay, nice guys, nice, nice. That is how you make noun phrases, but remember, using nouns, that doesn't mean that you cannot make sentences with gerunds. Yes, you can make them. Check, making, going, etc. But you can make noun sentences or noun phrases as well. Okay, nice. Continuing with, uh, with this part, we have noun phrases as, okay. as the object. Okay, can you read it please? At, um, Romeo? Um, now let's say the same but using yeah. noun phrases some object. We have subject plus verb to be and uh, relative clause. Close clause and relative clause. Ah, do you remember the previous one? Can you remember, guys, the previous one? The subject. Uh -huh. Relative clause. In second second place, the relative. Uh, let me check. Correct. Subject, relative clause, verb to be and the object. But in this one, we have subject. Verb to be. The verb to be, not the relative clause. After the verb to be, you have to use a noun. Yeah. And at the end, you use the relative clause. Let's see one example. The subject is? Okay, there is another my one. My free time. Correct, my free time. This one thing that I really miss. Okay. If you check, it's pretty much similar, the same, but the order changes in this one. My free time is the subject. The verb to be is, what is the noun? One, one, thing. one thing. And the relative clause? That I really miss. That I really miss, correct. 
Okay, pretty good. The order changes in some parts. Good, good. Okay, similar example or similar exercise with this picture. Picture number one, hey, do you remember this game? Yes. Remember the game? Yes. yes. Domino. Domino. Ah, okay. Make a sentence using this picture or the game. Okay, I'm going to bring the same letter style, but you tell me the order. Okay, what is the subject? In first place. Domino. Uh, domino. Domino, domino. Okay, but let's check. Uh -huh, my free time would be the subject in this one. But according with the picture. Okay. My, my domino game, yes. My domino game. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Next. One thing. Correct. Is one thing that I really miss. Correct. That I, I'd really miss. That's it. It seems easier, right? Easier, easier. Yes. Ah, okay. Number two. Look at the picture. Camping mm -hmm. at the mountain. mountain. Camping at the mountain. Is one thing that I believe. Is one thing that I really miss. Okay. Is that correct? Yes or no? Yes. Yes. Okay. Yeah, it is correct because camping, it is the subject, but using a gerund. If you remember that topic uh, from the previous class that we had, you can make sentences beginning with gerunds. Correct. It is correct. No problem. Camping at the mountain is one thing that I didn't really miss. Okay. Pretty good. And picture, what about this one? Aha, uh -huh, let's see. Anivania or Jorge? Car racing. Car racing. Car racing. Car racing. Is one. Hmm? Is one. Thing that I really miss. That I really miss. Okay, car racing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, car or you can say mm, no. It's it's correct. Car racing is one thing that I really miss. Okay, pretty good. It is correct. Okay, let's see. Do we have uh, more sentences? Yes, we have three more. What about in this picture? What do you think the sentence could be? In this one. Ideas? Eating an ice cream is one thing that I really miss. Okay, that is one option, correct. Eating a delicious ice cream is one thing that I really miss. Another option that you can say with the same picture. Will be with uh, eat only? Eat ice cream? Excuse me? Will be with only the, 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 the eat? Is with ice cream? Will be. 
eat, eat ice cream. Mm, no, you have to use the gerund. Oh. You have to use always the gerund. If oh. you are going to begin a sentence with uh, ing, always, always as a gerund. Teacher. Uh huh. Can you see feeding my dog? Eating my dog. <laughs> Comiendo, eating, comer a mi perro. With my said. dog. <laughs> with my dog. Um, in China. Uh, yeah, we are not. <laughs> we are not in China. Okay, eating ice no, cream no. with my dog. Yeah, that would be. Eating ice cream with my dog is the one thing that I really miss. It is correct. Okay, another option with uh, with the same picture. Te sharing, sharing, compartir. Uh, you are not sharing literally your ice cream. Uh, but yes, but the, yeah. But the dog is eating. <laughs> yeah, correct. <laughs> okay. Yeah, it is possible. Sharing my ice cream with my puppy or with my pet is one thing that I really miss. Okay, correct. Um, another option, we can say many in many options. Focus, not focus on only on the ice cream, focus on the dog this time. Mm -hmm. Ideas? Focus on the dog with this uh, sentence. Going with my dog at the park is one thing. Okay. That, that I really miss. That I really miss. Correct. The sentence is correct. Yes. Or you could say, um, having having my dog with me, having my dog with me. While I eat my ice cream is one thing that I really miss. Is that correct? Or no? Having my dog with me or next to me, you can say. While I eat my ice cream is one thing that I really miss. It is correct. You can say having my dog, tener a mi perro, right? Next to me. While I eat, mientras me como el ice cream, is one thing that I really miss. Okay, pretty good. It's correct. Okay, what about this second picture? Taking violin. Playing the violin is... What thing I will miss? Correct. Playing the violin is one thing that I really miss. Yes. Remember, actions, action verbs with ing at the beginning. Playing the violin. Um. What else? What else can you say about this picture? Any other sentence with a noun phrase? Mm -hmm. No more, no more ideas. Come on, you can make one, one more, one more. Okay, check the example. Check. You are using all the time uh, verbs in ing. That's correct. No problem. But remember. Try to use nouns. My free time, for example. In this one, mm. uh -huh. I have a teacher. Okay, say it. Let's see. My music presentation at church is one thing that I really miss. Ah, uh -huh. okay. That's. That's a new one. Can you repeat it? 
my music presentation at church? At church is one thing that I miss. One thing that I'd uh, I'd really miss. miss. Okay, guys, is Carla's sentence correct or no? Opinions, opinions, correct or not correct? Yes. It, is, it correct. is correct. Yeah, that's it. Because in this one, you are not using any verb in ing as a general. You are using a noun. What is a noun? The music presentation is a noun. Correct. Um, another option that you could say uh, using nouns? Any other sentence? Um, violin concert night is one thing that I really miss. Ah, okay, let's see. A violin concert night is one thing that I really miss. Uh, okay. All right, the sentence is correct. Yes. A violin concert night. Okay, sounds pretty good. Or you you could say, uh, the practice, can you complete it with this part? Okay, better. The, viol the violin or my. Uh -huh. Complete it, please, complete it. My violin practice is one thing that I really miss. Okay, good. Check. Noun. Noun. The violin course is a noun. My violin practice is the other noun. Okay, it is correct. Pretty good. Nice, nice. Be sure. Yes, tell me, tell me. Will, will be uh, when I practice Beethoven's symphony is one thing that I really miss. Ah, okay. That would be better with an ING verb. That would be better with an ING verb playing Beethoven's, Beethoven's song, for example. But that is ING. It's more appropriate for verbs beginning with, with gerund. Playing a Beethoven's song. Mm -hmm. yeah. But if you want to use Beethoven's Beethoven songs, mm, can you change it with a noun or using it as a noun? I don't know. <laughs> uh -huh. Ah, that is that is the thing that we have to use nouns instead of ing verbs. But we can try, we can try it out. Let's see, Beethoven's, 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 Beethoven's song. Mm -hmm. Okay, it's kind of challenging, right? But yes, would be better with playing Beethoven's song is one thing that I really miss. Okay, let's see. Listening. Listening, that is ING verb. ING verb. Okay. But we are using nouns, check. Okay, okay. My music presentation, a violin concert, my violin practice, those are nouns. Those are nouns. Okay? But if you want to use Beethoven's, Beethoven's song, I don't know how can I make a sentence with that. That is the challenge. Okay, take a moment and think. While we are going to do uh, this one, check. Check the picture or the gift in this case. Ideas? <laughs> using nouns, remember, using nouns. Teacher, the last night concert. 
Okay, last the last night concert. Uh, but when you say last night, that is a simple past expression. Can you use a simple past expression with these type of sentences? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. A last night concert is one thing that I don't really miss. No, because the concert has already passed. So it's not correct. The concert is in the past. Uh -huh. Ideas? Okay, no? Okay, guys. Okay, pretty good, no problem. That is the purpose, using nouns in this type of phrases. In your assignments, you are going to do this, this exercise. Write the sentences or reorder the sentences, making noun phrases, et cetera, et cetera. Okay, pretty good. Okay, guys, that was uh, today's class. Tomorrow we are gonna continue with, with a similar examples about this topic. See you tomorrow Wednesday. Have a good a good night and see you tomorrow. Have a great night, guys. Take care. Bye-bye. Thank, Thank you. Thank you, guys. See you.